Hey guys, Evil C here, and welcome to episode 10. We're finally into the double digits. Now as you know, 2008 is about to draw to a close. 2009 is right around the corner. So to close out the year, I thought I'd do a review of a game that's a little bit unconventional and different. It's called Personal Trainer Cooking, and it's for the Nintendo DS. This game is both developed and published by Nintendo, and it's the first in the line of Nintendo's new Personal Trainer games for the DS. The next being Personal Trainer Math, followed by Personal Trainer Walking. Now technically, to be quite honest with you, Personal Trainer Cooking is not really a game at all. It's more of a productivity tool. The game is technically an interactive cookbook. Now in addition to being a full-fledged cookbook with around 250 recipes. It also does a few things unique to the DS that no traditional cookbook ever could. For starters, the entire game is controlled with the touchscreen, so you'll be navigating all the menus and that with the styles. Now, when you're following an actual recipe, the steps will be spoken aloud to you by the game because the game is entirely voiced over, which is really cool. And thirdly, uh, uh, when you're in a recipe and you're making it, you can use your, your, your own voice and the microphone on the DS to advance to the next step or to go back or to repeat it, stuff like that. There's actually quite a lot to this game. Uh, so with that out of the way, uh, let me take you through it. So this is the main menu for personal trainer cooking. Here you've got recipes, which is where you go to find what you want to make. Below that you have um, Cooking A to Z, and this is basically a giant collection of information. Um, I'll show you what's under here in a moment. Beside that you've got Shopping List, and again I'll show you how this works in a moment. And you've got your Settings, which is basically your options. So, let's take a look at the recipes. Now there's around 250 recipes in this game, and you can search for them in a... Uh, in many ways, you can you can search uh, you can choose to look at all of them at once if you want. You can search by country. You can search by ingredients. So, say if you want to find a chicken recipe, there are 22 uh, recipes in the game that um, involve chicken. Say, and you can you can search by seafood, fruit and vegetable uh, seasonings, or other. You can search by requirements. So, say. You want to make an easy recipe with the main ingredient being uh, seafood that takes 20 minutes or less to make. Now there's four of those. So you go to OK. And these would, these would, be, these would be the four here. Clams and white wine, mussels and white wine, prawns with garlic oil, and scallops with garlic butter. Or you could do a keyword search, like say you want to search for pizza. You would just write in pizza into the handwriting recognition software. We'll find it for you. And there are, yeah, there are two uh, pizza recipes. There's pizza margarita and pizza Neapolitan. Now on the bottom screen, if you press the little uh, blue icon that says details, you'll get some additional information on this dish. The original form involved putting tomatoes on a dough crust, drizzling them with olive oil, then baking it into the oven. This classic pizza adds tomato sauce, anchovies, capers, and oregano. So it gives you a little bit of background information on uh, uh, the meal that you want to make, which is pretty cool. Now for this review demonstration, I'll show you the California roll recipe. This will basically show you how the game uh, takes you through each recipe as well as how you'll interact with the um, uh, the game itself. So, on the top screen of every recipe, it'll give you some little um, tips and advice which you can uh, uh, scroll through with on the um, on the um, touch screen. Now, on the bottom screen, uh, well, you can make notes for uh, for any specific recipe if you want. You can mark it as a favorite. Uh, now, right here. Uh, the most important part uh, is you can um, uh, check what the recipe calls for. Now you see you have a full list of everything it calls for. Now these white boxes, uh, you can, if you don't have an ingredient, you can check it off. And by checking them off, they will appear in the uh, shopping list option that you saw on the main menu. Now 
Another cool thing is up here, it's set for two servings. Let's say you want to make four servings of this. It will automatically adjust the quantity of um, the ingredients you need, so forth, and, and six and so forth. Now, under the utensils, it tells you a list of all the uh, recommended um, and essential um, utensils that you need to make this. So let's just um, jump right into cooking. All right, let's get started. the rice. First, wash the rice and drain off the water. Now you'll notice that the game uh, is talking to you, and that's what it does um, through the entire recipe, and that's one of the coolest features of this, is that the game will talk to you. Uh, now on the bottom screen, uh, you have two Excuse me? You have two methods of, of controlling this. Uh, you can tap the, um, uh, the screen to go to the next Put option. The rice in the rice cooker along with the water, the sake, and the kelp and leave it to stand for 30 minutes. Now if you don't, um, if, um, if you don't uh, uh, want to even touch the DS, uh, you can uh, use your voice to control the game. So uh, if you, so I'll show you. Continue. Okay, cook it as you would. And it'll go to step rice. three. Repeat. Okay. And by saying cook that, it will repeat the step again. Rice. Last step. Okay. Put and by saying last step, it will go back to the, the previous step. The sake and the kelp. Mm -hmm. And leave it to stand for 30 minutes. And finally, I'll take you through the three options on the bottom screen. Now, cooking A to Z is basically like a giant encyclopedia of information. You've got ingredients, substitute ingredients, utensils, preparation, chopping and cutting, terminology, helpful tips, homemade ingredients, important points, and example videos. So, say you go to ingredients. Uh, uh, and say uh, you click on bacon, it will tell you up here um, a little bit of information about bacon. Or say you go over here and you choose baby onions, it'll tell you a little bit of information about babies, baby onions, and it'll show you a, a little picture. Or say you want to look up terminology. Say you have no idea uh, what uh, how blanching means. Well, you click blanching, and it tells you exactly what it means. It means to briefly boil ingredients or pouring boiling water over them. Now under shopping list, if you recall those four ingredients that we marked on the sushi recipe, uh, they will appear in your shopping list. So when you go to the when you go to the store, uh, all the ingredients that you don't have uh, will be shown right here. So when you f get the ingredients you want, you just check them off. And it's even got a handy little calculator. So if you're over at the store and you need to uh, do some math on something, you can do that. Now lastly, we have the settings. So I'll just show you. You've got excluded ingredients, chef's voice settings, you can uh, set the voice speed of, of the chef, music, you can turn music on and off, voice input, you can uh, choose to use the microphone or not, mic test, you can uh, test the sensitivity of your mic, and you can delete all user data. Now one thing I'll show you under excluded ingredients is, say for example, uh, you, have a, um, you are allergic to peanuts. So you find peanuts, you check them off, and then up here you choose a little wrench icon. All the recipes that have peanuts, uh, you can show a little um, red flag beside them, or you can choose to hide them entirely. So if you do that, all the recipes that have peanuts will not be shown. And uh, lastly, there's even a little kitchen timer setting. So if you don't have a kitchen timer, now you do. So that's basically personal trainer cooking in a nutshell. Overall, I think it's an excellent and very well made application for the DS. It's got tons of great recipes. The menus are very easy to navigate using the, the touch screen and your voice. I love the fact that the recipes are entirely voiced over. The included instructional videos for the more advanced steps such as rolling sushi and kneading pizza dough is very cool and very welcomed. And overall, it's just a lot of fun to uh, have this running while you're making something new. And the best part is, this is only 20 bucks. You could easily spend $20 on a decent cookbook. So hey, if you're in the market for a new cookbook and you're curious about this, I would say get it because it's great. And hey, even if you're not in the market for a new cookbook and you want to try some new foods and you're curious about this 
application, I would still say get it because it's very well made and it's a great product overall. So with that said, that brings my 2008 reviews to a close. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please post them. If you like this video as well as some of my other ones, please subscribe. And if you do, thank you very much in advance. 2009 is right around the corner. And I've got quite a few reviews planned for some major 2009 releases. And I'll give you a little preview now. Stuff such as uh, Wii Sports Resort as well as the new Wii Motion Plus peripheral. Uh, House of the Dead Overkill, Sin and Punishment 2. The first person shooter that every Wii owner is waiting for, the Conduit, that's going to be a big one. I'm really excited about that. And, as well as, I also hope to finally post some PlayStation 3 uh, reviews, such as uh, Resident Evil 5. As you can see, I'm quite a big Resident Evil fan. Even got the two handheld ones. So, happy holidays, happy new year. Thanks again for watching. I'm Evil C, and I'll see you again in 2009.